Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Today is my England vs Panama World Cup Game 2 match preview. Um, I hope you all started to digest the 2-1 uh, win over Tunisia. Um, there's a lot of pickup points in that game. Uh, the two penalty shouts. You know, bits like that. Um, as I said, on to the next one. Um, now, Panama has lost to Belgium in the last game. Um, so, if Belgium beat Tunisia and we beat Panama, we're through. So, fingers crossed, because I don't think that the Belgium game is going to be easy enough. Plenty of things I like did the second half against Belgium, I can't just get anything out of that. Not being disrespectful, that's just my personal opinion. First half we got a chance. Um, exactly the same as I saw up at Wembley against Nigeria. Uh, had a brilliant first half and second half and started to try and play a counter attacking football with don't work. Uh, obviously Southgate shoes on throw the whole basically the midfield and the forwards forward and I would cause try and cause Stizzy a few problems there. If Telemar try to do the same I'd do that then I would just try and break it down bit by bit. But anyway, onto the onto the Panama game. Guys, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more and let's go. So this is my 1 to 11 um In goal, I'm going with Jordan Pitford. Um, now, he didn't have a bad game against Tunisia. Their penalty that they scored, I featured him with another shout. Um, obviously, it's my best team. You might have a disagreement. Guys, if you do have a disagreement, put it down in the comments below who you think should be in the starting 11. But in goal, I'll go with Jordan Pitford. In centre back, I'll go with John Stones, Harry Maguire, and Gary Cahill. Um, now, when three, even though I think that Maguire shouldn't really played in the Tunisia game, uh, I would have really played Cahill from the start instead of Maguire. No disrespect to him, I just think. We could have done a bit more experience in that first game. Uh, let Maguire sit back and watch a bit of it, see what it's like. Um, so that's my back three. Um, and left wing back, I've gone with Danny Rose again. No disrespect to Ash Young. Um, Danny Rose had a. Uh, had a brilliant uh, warm-up game against Costa Rica uh, and I think he really does deserve a shout in the uh, starting 11 but his game against Panama. The next and right wing back I've gone with Kieran Trippier. Um, yet again now it's Panama, I would play Trippier, give him a bit of experience uh, in the World Cup team and then take it from there uh, and then obviously give our, our other players a bit of a break. Um, no disrespect to Panama, but I think this is a game we should be really pushing through. Um, in midfield, oh sorry, CDM. I've gone with Jordan Henderson. Um, I think he had a brilliant first game. Uh, I think he will be in there again anyway. But I'll put him in here. Because with Kay Hill's experience, I think he, I think they will work, work, uh, work well with each other. On the right side, I have gone with Jesse Lingard. Um, 
Now, I think he had a brilliant game. He should have scored maybe one or two opportunities in the Tunisia game. Um, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, on the left, I've made a bit of a diversion. I've gone with Eric Dyer. Um, obviously, Daddy Ali's picked up a bit of a knock. As far as I know, I don't know how bad Daddy Ali's injury is at the minute. But as I said, this game we can give our players a break. Um, let the sort of the young newy ones, <coughs> excuse me, take uh, care of it. Um, so with Eric Dahl on the left, I think that'd be a good switch for Daddy Ali, give him a bit of a rest and get him ready for the Belgium game. Um, at front, I've gone with Harry Kane, Captain Harry, as we Captain Henry will call him, uh, for England. Uh, had a brilliant game against Tunisia. I wouldn't swap him. Uh, or maybe play Vardy in there. Um, which I could possibly do, but I think we still need that goal scoring ability out there. Uh, Jamie Vardy could do it, but I'll see go with starting with Kane again. And then on the other side, this is another change. I've gone with Marcus Rashford instead of Raheem Sterling. Uh, Rashford deserves a start. Um, deserves a start and, you know, Sterling did miss the odd opportunity against Tunisia as well. So, anyway, this is my 1 to 11. Guys, you have been watching England versus Panama match preview. Guys, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and check out for now.